So we are now going to module three, where we are looking at harmony in the family and moving on to society. So this module has these many lectures, which we are going to discuss it in our classroom because the whole content is for 28 lectures. So starting from lecture 13, that is the basic unit of our interaction. Whenever we look around, the day we are born, we are part of a family. We're surrounded by these members around us. And it's the first laboratory where we are experimenting with our relationships. So let us continue with the whole process of self-exploration within us so that we get more clarity about what is our role, our value in the family. When we are discussing it with the students, they're getting to know the proposal for the very first time. So this is very important for them to understand about family. So are you able to see that this family is the basic unit, the building block of human organization. And it is this family, which is so important for each one of us. Whenever we reflect within ourselves and we ask this little question, what will I keep at a highest priority for myself? Family, career, personal choices, right? Most of us land up with one word. Do you agree to that? Family comes at the highest priority. In fact, we all are ready to say that even if I have to make myself unhappy, I'll do anything to make the family members happy. This is the kind of expectation we keep with ourselves. So we want to ensure happiness for each and every member of family. That is what we want. Yet at times, we end up not ensuring fulfillment in relationship. People spend 30, 40 years together as spouses. And yet they end up saying, look, for last 40 years, you couldn't understand. In fact, we must have heard our own parents saying this. Maybe, look, your papa never understood me. Look, your mama never understood me. I've always been there. So we all want fulfillment in relationship. Let's take this response from, is it possible to fulfill relationships without understanding what is relationship? Bea, can we have this poll? See. While you are responding to this poll, let us hear from Mr. Ramna Chaudhary ji from Jodhpur. Please go ahead, sir. What do you think? Ramna Chaudhary ji, we are not getting your voice. If any of our participants would like to interact, what do they feel? Is it possible to fulfill relationships without understanding what is relationship? Mrs. Kanduri, you have the mic with you. Ramnath, sir, we are unable to hear from you. No, ma'am, without understanding the relationship, we can't fulfill the... Very true. Are, uh, we, really, are we really working to understand relationship in our day-to-day -day life? Or we are just looking up to here and there and believing that we understand relationship? What is the current scenario? Just 
கரெக்ட் சினாரியோ ஆர் சீவிங் ஹியர் அண்ட் தேர் மேம் நாட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் த ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் in our um, mama days it was the fulfillment understanding of the relationship is there ma'am okay. now we are lacking of that one in our generation um, especially and the coming generation also okay. very nice so this is what we hear doctor yeah, yes ma'am okay nice Thank doctor shakti prakash she wants to add something good morning ma'am ji good morning sir actually uh, we feel that uh, uh, if you have the right understanding then only we can progress or we can satisfy the uh, requirement of the family and there will be no misunderstanding but uh, because of the lack of the understanding with the relationship that's why all these unhappiness or uh, that uh, we are on, uh, we sometimes feel unhappy because of that only as we are not uh, clearly understood the relationships very nice so now we are able to see that understanding relationship is fundamental to ensure fulfillment in relationship right and we can just see the response to the poll also most of us are responding in this poll saying that it is not possible to understand to fulfill relationships without understanding relationship right so despite having all good intentions if we don't understand relationships we are unable to ensure fulfillment in relationship and we end up not speaking to others for days having some kind of an opposition and even ending up with situations like divorce which nobody wants actually so it is important for us to understand each and every aspect of relationship so let's put forth these four aspects of relationship the relationship is right between one self and the other and we can ask this to ourselves right who is having these feelings in relationship is it the body or the self what do you think let us take up this reflection poll from you the feelings in relationship where are they are they in the self and can these feelings be recognized can we do it for ourselves right while you are responding let's hear from dr rashmi you have the mic with you rashmi ji didi ji yes uh, without feeling it uh, can't uh, do anything and it is totally depend upon the self Jee. self is generally regulate all these things so in relationship here feeling is the must okay and it is totally depends upon own self this is my in summarized way actually i am not in position to say ji uh, because i am in covid situation ji please take care of your health didi and whatever you have mentioned that is very right that these feelings are there in the self right let us we can just see the moment this baby comes to the mother the mother yes. is filled with these feelings ready yes. to do anything and everything for the baby right yes so yes. can these feelings be recognized yes mother recognized always ji very that nice. uh, what what uh, my daughter want ji so this is the here a link between the mother and daughter ji okay so without this prior understanding mother can't feed to own daughter ji <laughs> ji okay. so we can very nice didi please take rest please take okay. rest <clears throat> very nice that you are still putting so much of time rupali ji would you like to interact quickly yes ma'am yes ma'am uh, feeling happy unhappy or hurt or you know excited everything happens in our own self so uh, it is like self who has a feeling 
And uh, about previous uh, slide, I want to just add that, you know, from our childhood, when we are child, we are not mature enough to understand relationships. And, you know, uh, so much of our efforts are given in academics and studies. But uh, to understand relationships, we give hardly any efforts. Same thing happens when we get married. You know, we are into that initial days of thing that, uh, you know, we are not mature enough to understand the relationship with your in-laws or husband or whatsoever. And again, you know, there is no uh, education given about, uh, you know, what exactly is the relationship, what is meant by fulfillment in relationship. So with unawareness of these things, just because we have some basic trust on some people and uh, love for some people, we just carry on, you know, with uh, our children, we have inborn love and uh, with our husband, we have trust. But same thing is not, uh, same thing is with our parents and siblings as such. But same thing is not present with some relations. So there we have uh, doubts on intention Gee. and so, all these things. So yeah. it, it means that without this clarity within me, I'm wearing yeah. colored glasses. And yes. I'm looking at my relationship with these colored glasses. Yes. So somewhere I am able to ensure some kind of a fulfillment and somewhere I'm lacking it. Yes, yes, very much. And, and and that is leading to this whole lot of contradiction within me, right? Yes, yes. We take many people for granted also in all that, like whatever I do. So all of us now do understand that we all are lacking this understanding of the relationship. Just like I am lacking it, the other people are also lacking it. And therefore, it needs to be discussed, be it our own family be it our own classrooms. It is important to ensure the right understanding for relationship. So we are looking at relationship more carefully, equipping ourselves, ensuring this understanding. So this relationship is already there, whether we understand it or we don't. We are related to each other. We just need to understand it. As long as I believe that I'm creating some relationship, I can continue with this assumption that I can anytime break it. But if I understand that the relationship is already there, I need to understand it. I am ready to take effort. I'm able to observe that the relationship is already there and I'm able to accept that relationship. With that acceptance of relationship, that it is already there, now I start thinking in terms of fulfillment in that relationship. But if I don't understand, the relationship doesn't disappear, it remains there, but I am unable to observe it. I lack that acceptance in relationship. And thus, I lack that fulfillment in relationship, which makes me unhappy. I am in contradiction. I have this natural acceptance to be in relationship. But without clarity, I'm not able to observe my relationship, which is already there, unable to accept it unable to fulfill it. Let us take this reflection from you. Baya, can we have another reflection? While you're responding to this, let us hear from one of our participants. Ji, Shashi Kansa, what would you like to say? Yeah, it is uh, fairly easy for us to understand the feelings of a relationship within ourselves. But how to recognize the feeling of uh, relationship is there with other? Because that is what is the most confusing part that people feel that other is not having uh, clear understanding of relationship and therefore behavior is uh, misunderstood and many a times the people uh, lose the 
feeling a good feeling of relationship ji so so let us first get that clarity for ourselves am i understanding relationship if i understand relationship with that right understanding i'm ready to discuss it with the other but if i don't understand relationship i'm imposing it to the other look i did this for you and you are not responding so when i have that understanding within me now i'm ready to discuss these relationships with the other so that the other also gets the clarity so we are looking at these feelings within us so this relationship we are seeing is between one human being and the other and we all are able to see we are discussing it with our students with our family members within our own family are we able to discuss it with our own children who is recognizing the relationship is it the self or the body who is having feelings in relationship so for ourselves what is the observation that is coming to you is it the body which is ensuring fulfillment in relationship or the body is merely acting like an instrument used to express while the relationship is between one self and the other what would you like to say about this are we using the body merely as an instrument for expression or the body is central to relationship what do you think this relationship is between one self and the other is it a yes or a no from your side ji you are getting some responses in the chat so each one of us can see that the body has a role to play ji anita ji please go ahead uh, ma'am here we say a uh, relationship is between one self and the uh, uh other self but we all we also say that the body is also an instrument because without body we wouldn't be able to express ourselves what we actually feel very true the body is an instrument to show that expression so yes. at times i may have feelings within me but if i am unable to express it huh. the other may not be able to get that so that is very also true. equally important that expression part yes. is but that expression cannot come overtly if i lack the feelings and i try to express it gives me more contradiction yes there are certain times contradiction but yes. most of the times we give true feelings as to what it is yes. and body yes. helps us to react definitely. that definitely i and body coexist so my yes. body is my instrument and i use it to express my feelings yes. so that it can be conveyed to the other but yes ma'am the first thing is that the feelings are to be ensured yes true in any relationship these feelings are fundamental when we are able to ensure these feelings they play the central role and these feelings where are they located if we understand feelings then only we are in a position to understand the self when we are understand self when we get this clarity about self and are clear that these feelings are to be ensured in self then we can ensure fulfillment in relationship but if we don't understand the self and we have this gross misunderstanding that i am body then it is not possible to understand the feelings if i don't understand feelings i don't ensure it and thus without that it is not possible to ensure fulfillment in relationship we may try to pacify by gifts by physical facility but does that really work just think when somebody is newly married right there may be more gift exchanges at that point of time over a period of time the gift exchange may minimize but let's see about the fulfillment in relationship 
as we are able to understand what is more satisfying the initial phase or this comfort phase after 10 years down the line 15 years down the line what do you think can physical facility suffice for fulfillment in relationship the current scenario the major crisis that we are facing in relationships today is that we fail to understand self with that we are unable to see that the feelings are in the self and we try to assume our relationships on the basis of body so we are ready to run here and there to arrange every possible physical facility believing that it will ensure fulfillment does that really work what do you think so the parents may have worked hard to make available all the physical facility for their children and yet at a certain age end up saying look we did so much there is this gap now let's see when the child was growing were we accumulating were we busy accumulating physical facility or were we ensuring right understanding for relationship if some of our participants would like to put forth we would really like to hear from them these feelings can be recognized they're definite feelings which are naturally acceptable to each one of us and these feelings are nine starting from trust respect affection care guidance reverence glory gratitude and love we can ask this to ourselves are these feelings naturally acceptable to you what do you think let us take the response in the chat do you find these feelings to be naturally acceptable to you in relationship what do you think about the other are these feelings naturally acceptable to the other also everybody is putting a yes to it are we able to see that these nine feelings are naturally acceptable to everyone very nice each one of us can investigate for ourselves are these feelings naturally acceptable to us or not so we can ask these little questions to ourselves what is naturally acceptable to us feeling of trust or mistrust feeling of respect or disrespect what do we want in continuity for ourselves when am i comfortable when i'm filled with these feelings when i ensure this feeling of affection within me that makes me comfortable or the feeling of jealousy feeling of care or exploitation so for each and every feeling we can verify what is naturally acceptable to me when i express it to the other does it make the other happy ji vedanath ji wants to say something ji please go ahead sir quickly now these are the naturally acceptable feelings when i'm filled with these feelings it makes me happy are you able to make that observation for yourself when you understand relationships you have acceptance in relationship and you ensure these feelings in relationship with whomsoever you are interacting does that make you happy when you interact with the other ji pratibha ma'am wants to add something please go ahead pratibha ma'am we can't hear from badinath ram sir ji namaste didi 
जी नमस्ते प्लीज uh just a thought came into my mind when uh, in the previous slide you mentioned that uh, feelings are uh, those which are naturally acceptable to us so does it mean that the feeling of disrespect is not a feeling let's take your response is disrespect acceptable to you no definitely okay. not so whenever there is this lack of respect within you that makes you feel disrespected okay it is not it a is, feeling in itself it is right. just the lack of right. the right feeling right so if i am missing that feeling what i feel as a gap that is i am calling as disrespect right because i i want it in continuity if you ask yourself is there any moment when you don't want respect for yourself no didi so yes. if if it gets missed right you you don't feel good about it right and that that is what you call as disrespect yes are you able to make that observation for yourself yes didi absolutely ji very nice very nice so when we have these naturally acceptable feelings within us it makes us happy now i can see that these are naturally acceptable to the other also so when i'm sharing these feelings with the other of course through the body because the expression is through the body as and when required and i see that the other is able to recognize and evaluate the feeling with that correct evaluation it ensures happiness in the other so i am happy ensuring these feelings within me and by expressing it to the other i am ensuring happiness for the other that is mutual happiness so we can check out within our own family when i am interacting with the other i am ensuring feeling of respect within me and i am expressing that feeling of respect to my own spouse now in that case am i ensuring my happiness as well as happiness of the other or not but if i lack that feeling within me i say look i have been doing so much and you don't respond properly so can you make that little observation that whenever we have this absence of one or more feeling within us that leads to problems in relationship if we try to compensate it with some physical facility so when i am annoyed over something at that point of time or if i find that my spouse is annoyed and i try to cook a good meal will that really compensate just keep trying observing what happens when someone ignores or contradicts so we can make this little observation for ourselves now if we analyze the current situation we can see that if i don't have these feelings within me i am unhappy when i say i don't have these feelings it means i have not understood the self i have not understood relationships i have not understood feelings in relationship now if i lack these feelings i try to seek it from the others because i want these feelings and i'm missing it within me so at times i may agree with the other just to seek that favorable feeling i may try to be part of a group wear the same kind of clothes use the same kind of a language especially with students they come from different settings to ensure that feeling of respect they try to do a whole lot of things picking up a certain accent fixing them to certain kind of a hairstyle certain kind of a fashion clothing 
what are we trying to do we are trying to seek attention from the other ji shilpa ma'am please go ahead shilpa ma'am you want to say something ji shilpa ma'am you have the mic with you you have raised your hand ji rabin sir rabin sir you have the mic okay let us continue we'll come back i hope i am audible to all so when the other is expressing some kind of a feeling right feeling to me i feel happy for that moment but if the other doesn't express that feeling maybe i am cooking some good dish right and expecting that someone should appreciate and what if the other is not in harmony so if the other is not able to express that right feeling it makes me unhappy now let's check out why am i cooking is it my participation within the family order is it this feeling of care which i have within me to nurture my family members now whenever the other also doesn't have the feeling he or she is also trying to get that feeling from me so it's like we are begging for feelings from each other and that's how we could see most of the times people start relationships like this look i am empty and you are empty can two people with empty bowls fill it what do you think are we enabling our upcoming generation to be filled with these feelings so that they can nurture the relationships we might be equipping them with lots and lots of skills they can handle so many gadgets they can do so many things but are they equipped rightly to understand feelings so let's look at the way forward so the most fundamental thing in relationship is to understand these feelings when i understand these feelings i ensure these feelings within me for example when i understand the feeling of respect i ensure it i ensure that right evaluation within me. so if i have this feeling of respect it makes me comfortable i am happy with that harmony within me when i interact with the other i naturally express it to the other because i am filled with that feeling the other has natural acceptance to this feeling of respect it makes the other also happy so this way understanding the feeling having that feeling expressing that feeling and rightly evaluating that feeling leads to mutual happiness but i can see even before expressing it to the other there's a whole lot of thing which i need to do for myself that expression part will come at a later stage the first thing is understanding the feeling having the feeling expressing the feeling comes later so this right evaluation is required to verify whether i have these feelings or not that comes at the first step whether i have expressed these feelings to the other or not right whether it has reached to the other or not and finally if it is reaching to the other rightly then it should ensure happiness mutual happiness if it is not ensuring mutual happiness then we need to see that somewhere there is some gap so this is about relationship which we are discussing in this lecture 13 let us take this reflection from you
हेलो नमस्ते जी नमस्ते प्लीज गो नमस्ते नमस्ते मैडम इट्स ए गुड वेरी गुड डिस्कशन आज यू पॉइंटेड आउट दैट इफ द प्रेजेंट जनरेशन पीपल हु आर लाइक ऑल ऑफ अस आर हियर हु हैव बीन इंटरैक्टिंग विद आवर ओल्ड जनरेशन एंड आल्सो इंटरैक्टिंग विद द न्यू जनरेशन इट इज द रिस्पांसिबिलिटी ऑफ आवर्स टू शेयर द द फीलिंग्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप विद द नेक्स्ट जनरेशन सो दैट द राइट इवोल्यूशन is there uh, on part of me so so that is the great part because uh, uh, the value of education the real uh, objective will be fulfilled if uh, we have relationship and obviously this is a great responsibility of ours in spite of all this odd you know, uh, ji oh, situations thank you namaste ji nice namaste. sir nice in fact when we discuss all this with the class they come up with lots and lots of queries so let us take one or the two questions which the students frequently ask and let me put that as a question to you all i'll just lower all hands once so that we can see who would like to answer these questions for our students so i'm lowering all hands for a moment ji the major issue in relationships is fulfillment but for that physical facility and money is needed if the student comes up with this query why are you saying that feeling is the most important thing in relationship how would you like to answer it okay meenu didi would you like to answer this ji hi didi namaste ji namaste didi for uh, this uh, i will take the example of uh, uh, installing an air conditioner and uh, enjoying the cool breeze on a hot summer day so yes physical facility in that case has uh, made it has made the room very pleasant for us to sit however the person with whom we are sitting in the room and we are not on talking terms and uh, that is because of lack of feelings or lack of trust or respect so in that case even if there is an air conditioner it is not going to improve our relationship in any way so the major issue is recognizing the feeling and expressing the feeling if the feelings are right even without physical facility it is possible for us to have fulfillment uh, didi this is how i will try to explain ji ji very nice very nice let us hear from gurleen ji also gurleen ji would you like to interact uh yes ma'am uh, i would also take uh, like uh, rightly put by meenu ma'am also and uh, further on we can take uh, many examples of you know the filthy rich people who uh, like we see also uh, these days and they are out there in the news also that uh, even even when you are at the you know highest peak of achievement and you have whatever physical facilities required but even then they are committing suicides and you know there is a lack of uh, um, relationship at some point and i feel that uh, the most important thing is the right understanding and feelings and uh, you know that trust that is there in the relationship because if that is there even if you have lesser or physical facility as we see sometimes you know uh, people on the road side who do who just have uh, you know that daily uh, basis thing but even then they are smiling they're happy and uh, at times people have everything and even then uh, there is a lot of misunderstanding in their relationships so we can put that also very nice in fact we all can see the more we are able to explore we are able to equip ourselves with answers which can help the other explore so we can just facilitate our students by suggesting that who needs relationship now if they are able to see that the relationship is needed by the self right then can the needs of self be satisfied by physical facility so this fulfillment can that be really ensured by accumulating more and more of physical facility so we can facilitate them to take it this as an exploration within themselves let's take another question 
in relationship we must have mutual understanding or adjustment and sometimes we even have to make compromise sacrifices so they'll say that for relationship we need to do all this would you like to put forth your response to this question deepa ji would you like to put forth yes ma'am good morning ma'am good morning everyone yeah if you are saying in relationship if you are saying that we are compromising or sacrificing means there will be a feeling of deprivation so that means it won't be that relationship won't be fulfilling otherwise if you are doing something with right understanding it will lead to fulfillment in relationship that's what i feel it's very true in fact we can see with this word compromise and sacrifice i'm already in contradiction i'm taking that relationship as a burden on me i'm trying somehow to adjust is that fulfillment really so we can draw the attention of the student towards this pavai ma'am would you like to say something ji yeah yeah this uh, mutual understanding or right understanding of the feelings that alone uh, can go a long uh, way uh, say for example if you are doing some adjustment that is not uh, willingly we are doing we will have the feeling that i am adjusting for the other i am doing compromise for the other though we are doing that compromise we are doing the sacrifice that will be uh, having uh, um, that uh, feeling in us in a negative way as said uh, it will create uh, the contradiction why should i do that all the time i am only compromising i am only sacrificing so for uh, time being it may give uh, a solution uh, solution may be there but for us it will be uh, uh, contradicting we will be going on uh, unhappiness certain times very true in fact we can just see for example this is just an example so if if i just feel that every day i have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. and do so many course before mm -hmm. leaving for my workplace and i am doing all this for the sake of the family now let us see am i ensuring the right feeling within myself now why should i get up 5 am in the morning is because i have to follow the circadian rhythm now am i doing it for somebody else or i'm doing it for myself for the body now if i have that right understanding i'm able to carry that exploration within myself this is just a little example so by giving a proposal to the student facilitating with a little example we can help them to continue this exploration within themselves very nice so let us take one more quickly i can see that it is possible to understand relationship but what if these questions keep coming in the workshop also my spouse doesn't how to go about it so sunil kumar ji would you like to interact उंटेन फ्रॉम दि अदर्स i can seek respect from the others but uh, any any must... such activity right? no, so i'm doing may... it as a sport for myself ah but it may so happen that uh, in order to fulfill the sense of adventure in me see that's um, what i'm saying do yeah. i have that clarity within me i i may be doing some kind of a task right and right. whatever activity i'm doing for my own fitness whether i'm seeking respect out of it that look i am able to do this mm. or yes i am doing it for myself yes so just by looking at a at an event we cannot conclude because it Definitely. may so happen that it and may be an attention seeking event or that may also that may have also sprung from a right understanding isn't it madam so that's why i look at myself yes i will yes. not make a conclusion for the other yes right Right? right let uh, let me look carefully within my own imagination why i want to do this yes that will help me to get more clarity about myself ji very nice gangaram sir also wants to add something 
Yes, ma'am. Good morning and good morning all participants. Uh, my, uh, I wanted to put my opinion that uh, in relationship, uh, if uh, the people who are involved in relationship do the sacrifices uh, for each other and uh, have a compromise on certain things. So definitely, I think it, uh, it, it uh, uh, creates a mutual respect uh, towards each other. And that develops a right uh, understanding of self as well as the person who is in relationship. So that is better for both uh, har harmony also. Uh, Gangaram sir, let us keep it open. Whether this adjustment and sacrifice will ultimately lead to mutual understanding or yes. we can work on right understanding within ourselves so that we can ensure fulfillment thoroughly. Uh, yeah, we can work on right under understanding. But uh, for that, we need to uh, have a certain adjustment of each other, compromises for each other, then it will lead to a mutual respect uh, within the relationship. That's what I'm saying. Let us keep it open. Do we need to start from adjustments or do we need to ensure this right understanding so that we can proceed with that right understanding in relationship? Yeah, so right understanding. Right, right understanding. Gee, gee, very nice. Yeah. Regarding whenever we say that, look, I am ensuring this right understanding, yeah. but my spouse doesn't, right? Yeah. That was the last question. Yeah. Now let yeah. us check out, are we ensuring trust in relationship? That is something which we are going to discuss with this upcoming lecture. Okay. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice.